time with us. I hope you enjoy that unit two of series one. I remember I almost said, uh, Mr. Abiola, something. So now quickly, we are going to go to the next unit. What I'm going to do is I want to introduce you to the tools for you to achieve your success in your sojourn of designing a reasonable, sellable, marketable website. Once again, thank you for joining us. You are at the right place at the right time. So now I will introduce you to a lot of, there are a lot of tools we use in designing websites. So, but I will just introduce you to basic, major, common ones in the market. So, uh, the the most popular the most popular app in designing website the most popular app in designing website and is the most tedious app for designing website it's called notepad plus plus notepad look at it notepad plus plus i'll put the link below later after you just watch, just comment if you need the app. Just comment down that I need the app. I'll put a link below where we put the app for you to download. So we call it Notepad Plus Plus. Notepad Plus Plus. Okay, this is like one of the ancient, uh, ancient of these <laughs> for designing website. You know, and it's still one of the best way to design website, or one of the best way for learners to start. But you, you, you don't. You don't add you don't achieve uh, you don't achieve credibility with it. What I'm trying to say is that you, you might not be able to design a fashionable website with Notepad plus plus, except you are a professional. Uh, and again, it's time consuming, but I must tell you the best. That is the best app you can use to design a website at your own convenience. Every person ignorant person intelligent person you can have your own kind of website inside but i must tell you the fact that as much as it's the most popular and the best i must tell you the fact that it is also the hardest okay so we have another hub which we call adobe dreamweaver adobe dreamweaver so it works almost like uh, it works almost like notepad adobe dreamweaver adobe dreamweaver so uh, we, we call it Adobe Dreamweaver as another site for designing, uh, sorry, another hub for designing website, Adobe Dreamweaver. We call it Adobe Dreamweaver. Adobe Dreamweaver. Adobe Dreamweaver. Adobe Dreamweaver. So we call it Adobe Dreamweaver. Adobe Dreamweaver. Okay, another uh, app for designing website is Adobe Page Maker. Adobe Page Maker can also be used to design static sites. Okay, another app for designing website is also um, Visual Base. Visual base. Visual base. So these are also an app to design website. Visual base. Visual base. But in this dispensation, there is a, a set of app now that is uh, the set of app that is well fashioned. They are less consuming. They are best. They give you quality. They give you intelligent professional work for their expense. So there are different varieties. So but their generic name, what I mean is that their collective name is called TMS. TMS that is um, content management system. TMS, content management system. TMS content management system. TMS content management system system so inside this content management system we have a lot of we have wordpress we have wordpress we have 
Elementor. We have Elementor. We have Elementor. We have the battle. So they are very plenty, ETC. And there are some other sites too where you can go and design websites. Sites that you just go there, they will ask you some basic questions, and through that site, you can also design your website. So they are also classified under hardcore CMS. Example of it is Weezy.com. 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 Example, we have Weezy.com. So we have Weezy.com. For example, we have Weezy.com. Okay. So these are the art that you are going to use. So we'll be introducing. So basically, for the purpose of these are purpose of your four month training if i want to go through all the sites okay, where in the next five years branding up <laughs> but for the purpose of uh taking you through a simple and a better tutor i think we are just going to focus on two two or three who uh, have in order to design your website so now i must let you know something that there are other Side app which we call them, uh, we call them additional app. So all this one, you don't you are not using it necessarily to design website. We use to design some basic things that will be imported into the website. Example of it is switch marks. Switch marks. They are switch marks or FLV videos. They are switch marks for FLV video. You know. I don't know, you, you, maybe you have seen some pictures, some picture that is animated. Have you seen some picture like that? Picture that somebody will be dancing in the picture, but it's just a picture. Uh, so those kind of picture, they use sweet marks. Uh, that's the kind of things you put on your website so that your website will not be too heavy to load. But we have some uh, softwares like uh, Audacity. Audacity, guys, if you want to work on some voice, just like the way I'm talking, like if I want to embed it, and if I want to embed it inside our website, I need to have the touch, basic touch with audacity, basic touch of my voice with audacity. So if it's video, we have different app that you use to touch the video before you put it on your website. Uh, like Adobe, like Adobe After Effects, Adobe After Effects, Adobe After Effects. So, Adobe After Effects. This is the app called Adobe After Effects. Adobe. So this is the site called uh, After Effects. Adobe After Effects. This is what they call After Effects. This is what you use to put an uh, effects. You put effects like maybe, for example, after as I'm, I'm speaking now. Um, I just want to be effect for fire to explode. You know, those kind of effects. That will be effect. Okay. So we have. You can also make use of Corel Video, Corel Studio, Corel Studio. So this is it. Corel Video Studio Extend. So Corel Video Studio Extend. Also make use of Corel Studio Extend. What you are using that for is uh, for design, uh, like for, for, for you to be able to arrange videos. So like the way we are we, we, we are capturing now, you can capture in different different sections. You can use this one to join those sections to become uh, like one full section. So we also have Photoshop, CS Photoshop. We have CS Photoshop. We have CS CS Photoshop. We have CS Photoshop, CS Photoshop, sorry, CS4. We have CS4 there. You can make your CS5. There are plenty, but I prefer CS4 photo. So, in order for you to design your banner, all those pictures.